we kind of had a we set some new goals for ourselves here just before the season starts officially. Yeah, this is this was a big topic of conversation today between TJ and I. Um, so TJ and I are both like we're we're your amateur golfers. I I like to think that we're slightly above average. We're we're caught in between that average to advanced level. I'd like, say. Yeah, low mid handicap. Yeah, yeah, golfers, yeah. yeah. TJ definitely uh, is more focused on that. I kind of rely more on my natural athletic ability. Um, so we both have pros and cons to our game, but we have the um, the AIM Championship qualifiers that are coming up here in New York State. So there's like four, or there's four qualifying rounds, and then there's like a last chance round. Yeah, so it's run by the PGA professionals. It's the CNY section here. That's you know, basically, a so way go down to Binghamton area, um, yep. covering all those courses, and it's uh, one of the terms they put on every year. We've had some friends that have played on it in the past, mm -hmm. qualified, and then make it to the championship. And so uh, they released a schedule a couple of weeks ago, and I saw it, and the first thing I saw was just, you know, I kind of looked through the courses, and they're all the – usually it's, like, the tough courses. They're, usually they're, like, extremely wooded, very challenging, very, yeah. like – like, you know you're going to go in. If you're not, like, a scratch golfer, you know you're going to shoot, like, plus 10, plus 15. Yeah. Like, it's it's hard. And I saw – first thing I saw was the last chance was at Winoa. And it was – you know, that's my home course. I know that course well. Um, it was kind of like, why – might as well – you know, last year was my first solo tournament. Mm -hmm. So it was like, why not just uh, take a shot at it, you know, and, and see – see if we can make it, you yeah, know. see where you're at. Not going to go out and win this thing, but just no. see if we can – so there's four different qualifying rounds, and that's for any of the players that aren't exempt that are looking to qualify. I think right. it's like, I'm not sure if it's all previous winners and then like so many of the top placement. I would assume like the previous winners time. are already kind of like in just like any other like PGA Tour. Yeah, event. But yeah. I just didn't know if like, um, like you know, you finish like top 10 or something like that. You get like yeah, an automatic bid to the next year type. Got to be something it like that be, where yeah. if they elect to, to come back and play. Yeah. Um, and so the qualifying rounds are, you know, uh, there's two in like the greater Syracuse area, and mm -hmm. then one a bit north, uh, one a bit south. So we got Lakeshore is the first one, uh, like no, mid May. Green Lake is the first one, right? Green Lake is the first round of the championship. Oh, the championship. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The qualifiers Lakeshore. start at Lakeshore. Gotcha. Okay. Which is and like right here. In, yeah, yeah. 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 Right in Syracuse. And then it's up at Pompeii, just a bit north from here. Yep. Uh, it's like the following week. The week after that, they're down at Cortland. Okay. Which is like Country 40 Club. 40 minutes from here. Yeah. It's 30, not too 40 bad. Minutes, yeah. Um, and then after all that, the Tuesday before the tournament starts is the last chance where they take however many last few yeah. from Winoa. Look at the grin on your face already. I just yes. sat Winoa. <laughs> if there's a course where I can go out and, you know, shoot realistically, I'm just like looking at what scores got in last year. Yeah. It was we both scores in it. the 70s. Easy. Yeah. So Winoa, for those of you that obviously are just tuning in for us. So Winoa is the golf course that's in East Syracuse, and we're located in, well, where we're recording this is in basically East Syracuse. It's like 15, 20 minutes from us, not much. Uh, but this is like where TJ's membership is. This is where we'll probably film a lot of our stuff uh, coming up this year. So the course is like a very, I would say it's majority open, uh, very scorable on the back, the back nine, very scorable. Yeah. Even the front nine, the first couple holes. I mean, if you don't go in something like this, I feel like if you don't go like three down in the first like six holes, you'd be you'd be upset with yourself. Yeah. I know I would. It's be. really just like there's quite a bit of water, and it's just like if you can stay in play, it's so short that you don't need to take driver on most yeah. holes. Well, <laughs> it's really yes like no. leaving yourself in the right spot to. Uh, be able to go with the green and then i think there's some of the they're not super quick greens but they're like some of the more undulated greens around yeah. they're hard the greens are hard and they're undulated so it like makes yeah. for fast conditions when they don't tend to be it's just an odd course like if you think back to your first time playing there there's a lot like how often do we bring somebody there the first time and they're like is that the flag over there and it's like no it's actually like a hard turn left from yeah there. And if you don't know that course, yeah, it's. It'll, I wonder if they have catch you. They have guard. like. I wonder if they're gonna have like championship Sunday flags for that, or if they just have like 
I would think so. I would think so, yeah. right? Because it's weird because it's so early in the year. Like the qualifier starts mid May. Is it March? Isn't it March? No, it's mid May. Oh, it's May. Okay. Uh, to the end of May, and then the last chance I think was June fourth, and then that tournament starts that Thursday, June sixth, and then shit. it's those four rounds: Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's really early on in the year. So that's the other challenge here: is we gotta like get out, cool, get our game in good shape early, yeah. And be Man. ready to right. to roll. It's a good thing we started this. Hold ourselves accountable. But yeah, <coughs> excuse me. We were talking about it before we started recording. Is what we're gonna do is between the three opening rounds, so Lakeshore, Pompeii, and Cortland, and Manoa. I guess the last chance. TJ's gonna try one, and I'm gonna caddy before him, and we'll figure out which one that is and then vice versa i'm gonna try for it he's gonna carry for me and then if neither of us get in on either of those three rounds we're both gonna do winoa yeah we gotta find a way to get on the same cart i'm sure little i'm sure it could probably be yeah finagled. we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out yeah. but we're, we're gonna record it all we'll post it it's gonna be at least you know most of it um but damn yeah it'll it'll be a nice thing to like challenge ourselves on too because see where the yeah. golf game's at where we can improve yeah, it's just kind of a, you know, one of those two days if we're playing in two rounds, you just got to have yeah. it. And I you mean, can hell, get in, you that know? first, for the member guest, the round I had on Saturday, yeah, I probably would have placed fucking top 10 easy. Yes. Yeah. Should I, what, what did I shoot a 79? Or an 80? 77? Yeah. yeah. I had stupid. that round in uh, yeah, I did. July. I shot a 75, 75 yeah. Which also, at no, it was 75 and 79. It's a par 70 course, so it's only five over. Right. Which, still. But Just, most other courses, when it's a 72, I mean, still, you know, I'll take yeah. it. But either way, yeah, so that'll be another big thing that we'll, you'll see a lot from those, like, three-week period where... One of us is being yeah. a fucking idiot out there shooting, <laughs> shooting. Hopefully, really well. Have you you haven't played in a solo tournament before? I have never you? have. So this this genuinely will be, for me, this is really going to be like the first year that I've golfed like an existential amount. Um, yeah. Last year, I mean, we golfed that member guest month. I mean, I'm I must have golfed. I think we were playing like a, at least a round a week yeah. for August leading for, into it. Yeah, a shit ton. So. Yeah. Um, but before that, I mean, I try to get out at least five to ten times a year. Uh, probably probably more right in the middle of that. But, um, yeah, this will be – I mean, because obviously we're doing this, and it's kind of one of those things like you and I talked about. We want to – we're funny, and we're good – we're decent golfers. We'll have those, like, crazy-ass shots. You're like, how the hell did they pull that off? And you have those shots that are like, oh, this guy's an actual fucking idiot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it'll be it'll be cool. I know they like because I remember last year you were so excited about doing your first tournament and watching your eyes light up about it. I'm like, shit, yeah. I want I want to try that. So, I mean, you and I are about the same. Where it's like you know we'll have if if we're both on, it's like it's a coin flip. It, yeah, it really yeah. is, which is cool because you never want anything to be like too lopsided. It, it kind of after playing in the the club championship too as a solo, it it, it helped like just not finishing last too like there's there's other people that are just out there having fun that are just shooting and you never want way to finish beyond first. and so it's like same thing with this there's so many people going to the qualifiers that it's like even if you don't make it and you're finishing like halfway through the pack like it's still yeah tournament play and feeling mm -hmm. that pressure and i learned so much from doing that tournament, that tournament plays there. fun tournament plays so much fun yeah I, I got a lot of it from from disc golf and it's like I don't know. It's because it makes you think. There's a lot that translate mentally, at least from both of those, where it's like, you know, yeah. should I go for this? Should I go for this flop shot when maybe it's not? I just need to, you know, get it on and two putt it rather than, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think that's shot. a lot of it is like, you're not, realistically, you're not going to go out in this qualifier and shoot under par. It's just. No eliminate the big numbers yep. no doubles put the bandit on the big bleeds try to limit the yep. the bogeys and that's all you really need to to shoot somewhere in the the mid to high 70s Dude, and par bogey through. golf is gonna do you well in that yeah a lot of these courses and a lot of those guys you know there's some guys that think that they're better than they are that'll go for the big shots all yeah. the time that are gonna fuck themselves so it's all about just like you know okay cool i got a par four here and a, but i know i can get there in like two yeah i'm just gonna punch something short down the down the fairway 
get it on the green, take my exactly, fucking yeah, birdie yeah. attempts. Yeah. Just got to make pars. Pars so worse. We're going to have to get out to uh, these courses soon here and just kind of scout them out and see. Again, it's content within content. I yeah. mean, we can head down. It'd be cool, like, you know, in the, you know, a couple of weeks before they start, we go shoot around at both of or all three of them, see what yeah. it is and try it out, you know? So it'll be interesting to see me on a bag with you and you on a bag with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be some brutally honest moments there. It's going to be some funny shit. <laughs> I feel like that's what we really need. And, and from the member guests too, learning just like not necessarily talking the other person out of a shot, but just like the voice of reason. Just like, yeah. let's, did we really well, want to? Dude, I mean, we can talk about it right now. Yeah, corner. we can talk about it right now. The member guests, there was a couple times where it's like, I remember the, um, the first match we had, I was feeling it. And obviously, we were, I was just like, oh, I'm going to go for this bigger shot. And you're like, no, don't do that. You're like, why wouldn't you par. just hit? Yeah, you're like, why wouldn't you just hit a pitching wedge yeah. from here, and just or a, um, you know, something short just to lay it up, and then just chip it on and just put it in. And I was like, yeah, you're right, but it was cool. And then the other times I was like, no, like you trust your driver because you were like, TJ hate for like the, when we first started golfing together, TJ refused to use a driver, did not use it. He would use a seven <laughs> iron off a tee, and I've never seen somebody shoot a seven iron between, <laughs> uh. Like one seventy to two twenty. It's yeah. it's never. I've never seen anybody in my life utilize a club like that. It should just say <laughs> seven and then a U, like a utility club. Yeah. But but no, yeah. It's it's one of those things where we'll we'll we've learned a lot about each other. Like we're we're obviously good friends, but like learning a lot of each other's like golf game. It's made it even more fun. So because we will rip on each other. You, I, uh, it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, also just we through playing more and more too then realizing like okay this is the like like where the one thing i think of pre-shot is like okay if i miss this where is my miss going to be and am i comfortable being in that spot? yeah 100 percent. and then knowing that like okay we're if we miss the screen slightly right and we can just bump and run something up there we're gonna, yeah we still got a good chance to get out of here with the par and if not we're in play and we eliminate double bogey by being yeah. in that spot and yeah that's going to be it is just trying to, to post that score and even in those, th- even in that, like in the, if we do the amateur tournaments, I mean, bogey's not terrible. No. On a lot of these courses, they're challenging. So bogey is like, if you get in a, a tough predicament and you get a bogey, bogey's like, bogey's a win. Yeah. And you gotta just gotta run with it and just eliminate the doubles and the triples and like all yep. that shit. And, the, and a lot of that is just staying in play. Like if you're in the trees and can make bogey from there, that's yeah. great. As long as it's in play, it's just, that's the one thing I learned day one of that club championship was but just the biggest question staying in play is do we still do fireball shots for, <laughs> bo- for birds? I did not in the solo tournament. <laughs> well, it was just, you know, I think be, I think I did the second day because I was like, I don't I definitely didn't. I don't know if I had a birdie. Day do you one. think that day two, I had like three or four and I definitely was like. The nerves were getting a little bit, and I was yeah. like, "All right, let's we we got to loosen up." And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and it worked. I shot like, I think I went eighty seven, eighty two. Imagine this, two. and Nate, you can listen up. Imagine this: this channel takes off because of the birdie shots, and we get our own Acorn Hills in Great Particular. It says "birdie shot," and it's just instead of <laughs> it's the Acorn Acorn, but it's on fire, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.